Matt Horne is bringing that brilliant movie to the stage. And it's got 30 years ago, shocking, isn't it? But were you a fan of the movie? Had you watched it several times? Yeah, I actually studied it at university. Well, uh, I studied drama yeah. and film, so it was not It was one of the films I studied. Um, and I was also a huge Hoffman fan when I was growing up. I mean, when I heard about the job, I obviously I read the adaptation and I thought it was brilliant as a, as a, as a play. Mm. But of course, most people have seen the film or at least know the film. Uh, and so there are certain expectations of us to um, honour the film. And we should definitely do that. But hopefully we are doing something different with it just by the very nature of it being in the theatre and it being a play and um, there not being any driving in it. Yes, of course, of course. But um, it is... It does have its challenges for that very reason, being on the stage, obviously. But um, you... You, I guess, pulled amongst all of the emotions that you'll have to for this part from your own family and from your own brother because he is indeed autistic. He is, yeah. And so you've spent your whole life living this. I have lived it, yes. Yeah. Um, but not only that, not only have I um, experienced uh, my life with an autistic person as a brother, he has been uh, around various people with similar challenges uh, who I have also met. And so I have drawn, I've been able to draw from that my entire life uh, and hopefully bring something slightly different and more personal to, to the role. Um, we're also working very closely with Mencap, for whom I'm an ambassador. Yeah. Um, and um, also as a company, we're, we are drawing from everybody else's experiences of autistic people. Mm -hmm. But it's important to say that Raymond is uh, on a very specific point on the autistic spectrum. So it is a very, very subjective thing. And it's important not to, to generalise because the spectrum of autism is so vast. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it's just been important to get as much material, um, and research material, and, and trawl my memory um, mm. in order to inform the character, yeah. Yeah, do you feel the pressure, though? Or yes. Are you feeling it? Yes, I do, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it, yeah, as I said, you know, when I, when I first uh, heard about the job and read the script, there's a, an equal measure of excitement and terror, but the terror doesn't outweigh the excitement. Sustaining the, uh, sustaining the character, but for me personally, sustain, sustaining the, um, the character for that long and the um, physical demands of that as well. Um, just by its very nature, you sort of have to be a little bit bigger on stage and um, my back's killing me. Um, but uh, it's, it's actually, it's, it's harder for my co-star, Ed Spilliers, um, who plays uh, Raymond's brother, Charlie Babbitt, because really the heart of the play is his story and it's his journey. Mm -hmm. And he, he's the one who has the most character development. Um, it is also Ed's first play, um, which is uh, really exciting because I know from being in the rehearsal room with him for 12 hours a day for the last three weeks, he's going to be amazing and I'm so excited for people to see him. Okay, oh, that'd mm. be great. Mm. I mean, because you've done a lot of theatre, obviously, in recent years. I've done a fair yeah. bit um, and uh, it's, been, uh, it's been wonderful. I love working in the theatre. Mm. I love the instancy of it, um, the immediate reaction, the, the many variables every night. People always say to me, um, you know, what's it like doing the same thing every night? And it, it's just not that. It, it, there are so many variables each day from what kind of day your colleagues have had to what kind of day the audience have had, to how many people are in there, who's awake, who's asleep, you know. Yeah. And it, it, um, that's really exciting. And you don't know what's going to happen every night. Um, what, I, what I know is going to happen is that Ed is going to be absolutely brilliant. And... Um, as will you. I will <laughs> attempt to match that. Matthew, as I say, it sounds like an incredible play. Uh, Rayman, it opens on August 21st, so not long to go. Ah, I know. <laughs> At Jesus. the Windsor uh, Royal Theatre. And then it's a UK tour, actually, so you'll... Yes, yes, then we're, we're on uh, places across the UK until end of November.